most powerful weapon. Lightning speed attacks. 40 trillion dollar economies. U.S. laser weapon of mass destruction is ready for action. For decades, the most powerful weapon that didn't exist has been the laser weapon. Movies, animations, and daydreams have been filled with these weapons. Governments have invested decades of time, huge checks of resources, and generations of talent to bring these weapons to life, and understandably so. Lasers strike targets at the speed of light. They are the fastest things in the universe, thereby offering targets no way to evade certain destruction. Lasers also have an unlimited magazine, so their operators can fire continuously forever until they burn holes through every target unfortunate enough to be a target. These invincibilities, along with the low cost per fire shot of laser weapons, have motivated the militaries of the US and China, the two largest economies in the world, with a combined GDP of $40 trillion to prioritize laser weapon development. Laser Weapon Development Thousands of miles apart from each other, China and the U.S. have created multiple programs aimed at the development of laser weapons. China has been pursuing laser weapons development for over six decades, with particular attention going into anti-satellite capabilities. According to the U.S. government, China is practicing to take away its huge advantage in satellite technology by damaging or hijacking military satellites to deny them in wartime. China has also announced plans to equip its J-20 stealth fighter with laser weapons, which could significantly enhance its air-to-air -air capabilities and, of course, potentially provide defense against hypersonic threats. Chinese military expert Wang Mingliang mentioned in an interview that, along with an optionally manned capability and the ability to command drone swarms, the J-20 could be equipped with laser weapons. The requirements for such a weapon were only announced in 2020, although China has been developing laser weapons long before that, with the proof residing in various systems, like the ZM-87, which could take out or disable enemy personnel from over 9 kilometers away. On the American side, every major American weapons manufacturer, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, has been contacted by the U.S. Army, Navy, and Air Force to develop multiple powerful and compact laser systems that can be deployed by warships, tanks, and aircraft. Promising results were coming in from as far back as 2002 with the groundbreaking YAL-1A airborne laser. Mounted on a modified Boeing 747-400F, the YAL-1A was designed to shoot down tactical ballistic missiles during their powered boost flight phase. However, the program was canceled in 2011 due to cost overruns and design limitations, as the laser required bulky equipment and massive amounts of power to overcome atmospheric distortion over long distances. Over time, the U.S. learned from this experience and went on to build operational and reliable laser weapons across a slew of laser programs. U.S. Laser Programs A good number of laser programs have been created with the aim of developing laser weapons for use by the main factions of the U.S. military in their respective domains. Here they are. 1. Army – Ground-Based Weapon The Army is pushing for two different laser weapons, the IFPC-HEL and the DEM Shorad. IFPC-HEL the IFPC HEL, full name, Indirect Fire Precision Capabilities High Energy Laser, is a ground vehicle system armed with a 300 kilowatt laser tasked with defeating both light and heavy threats, from drones to cruise missiles to rockets. Their complete system is packed full of all it takes for a laser weapon to be as lethal as advertised, including beam control, beam director, and power and thermal management subsystems. DEM Shorad the 60 kilowatt DEM Shorad, full name, Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense Laser Weapon, is a weapon armed with a 60 kilowatt laser for taking out unmanned aerial vehicles and other similar sized targets. It can take out these targets from up to five miles away through whatever means necessary blinding sensors, scorching parts to cause aerodynamic failure 
disabling engines, detonating fuel supply, or an explosive payload. Anything. Another interesting capability of the DEM Shorad is its level of intelligence. The weapon is, in cases of multiple targets, able to autonomously determine which of the targets should be destroyed first, depending on how much of a threat each target poses. 2. Air Force – Aircraft-Based Weapon The Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Program, or SHIELD for short, is delivering a laser weapon that can be fitted on fighter jets. The Air Force awarded the contract for SHIELD in 2017 to three of the world's largest defense contractors, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin, all working together. Northrop Grumman would deliver the weapon's beam control system, Boeing would deliver the pod subsystem that holds other components, and Lockheed Martin would deliver Lance, the actual laser. Lockheed Martin received $26.3 million in funding from the Air Force for Lance and delivered the laser in February last year, 2022, five years after the company received the SHIELD contract. By multiple accounts, the Lance laser was worth every waiting year. According to the acting director of AFRL's Directed Energy Directorate, Kent Wood, Lance and its sister subsystems represent the most compact and capable laser weapon technologies ever delivered to the service. According to Tyler Griffin, a Lockheed executive, Lance is the smallest, lightest, high-energy laser of its power class that Lockheed Martin has built to date. An interesting weapon, no doubt. The world awaits its unveiling and official specifications. 3. Navy – Ship-Based Weapon the U.S. Navy is installing laser weapons on nine destroyers to evaluate the usefulness of lasers in sea-based warfare. The headliner of these weapons is the High Energy Laser, an integrated optical dazzler with surveillance, Helios. Helios Helios is a 60 to 120 kilowatt high energy laser weapon developed by industry leader Lockheed Martin, whose 40 year experience in directed energy hasn't gone unnoticed by the Navy either. Helios's development contract, amounting to $150 million, was issued in 2018, and by 2022, the weapon was all ready for installation, testing, and trials. Helios would counter targets from over five miles away and scorch them to disable core components and put them out of service. But Helios is about more than just grilling targets till they crash. The weapon doubles as a dazzler that obscures adversarial spying and attacks by blinding sensors and confusing missiles. It then triples as a tool to support long-range intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance by having its sensors become part of the Navy's most advanced service combat system, Aegis. Still, with so many lasers in the works and taking shape, the U.S. isn't necessarily in the lead for laser dominance. Foreign efforts, particularly in China and American-allied Israel, have built capabilities that make laser weapons more advanced than they were thought to be only a few years ago. Here are those advancements. Foreign Laser Weapons Advancements as laser weapons were explored and grew into shiny things that militaries marveled at, a problem surfaced. You see, laser weapons aim heat rays at targets, but some of the heat they produce stays within their holes, thereby burning their own components. This has been an unsolvable problem for the longest time, until scientists at the National University of Defense Technology in Changsha, Hunan Province reportedly solved it. According to them, they've developed a new cooling system that completely eliminates this harmful residual heat that is generated during the operation of high-energy lasers. With such new technology, weapons can now generate laser beams for as long as they want, without any interruption or degradation in performance. As China works on that, Israel, a country with highly capable military capabilities, has built its own laser weapon, and it just might be the most lethal, most accurate, and most efficient laser weapon in existence. This is the Iron Beam. It is a laser-directed energy weapon that can autonomously acquire targets and track them from over four miles away, stabilize its line of sight, and focus its high-energy laser to not only rip a hole through the target, but also through space and time. In March 2022, the Negev Desert received visitors from the Israeli Ministry of Defense to witness the testing of the new Iron Beam Laser Missile Defense System. The testing included detecting, tracking, and intercepting mortars, rockets, anti-tank missiles, and UAVs with concentrated laser beams. 
all of which the system did in flying colors. Shots from the iron beam are silent, invincible, and at a cost of around $3.50, ridiculously economical. The iron beam is expected to be deployed on land, in the air, and at sea. When mature, the goal is to line the laser systems around Israel's border to protect the country against attacks. It could also be exported to guide the development of laser weapons in allied nations, such as the US. As global politics heats up, arguments, threats, and even wars are on the rise. As usual, in these situations, the nation with the most innovative and decisive capabilities will likely come out on top. China and the US believe this capability will come from laser weapons, and if you've seen sci-fi movies, you would agree with them. You would also subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now for laser weapons. Thanks for watching.